morning, boys and girls, and welcome to our church school online. I'm so glad that you can join us, and I hope you are very well. I am Teacher Alice. Teacher Esther. Teacher Peter. Coming to you from PCA Nairobi, Nairobi West Sunday, Sunday School. Children, we are going to start with a word of prayer. Please put your hand together, bow your head, and close your eyes. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we worship you, we honor you, we magnify your holy name this morning. We say, Lord, that there is no other God except you. Thank you so much, Father, for loving us and for giving us this new day. Our dear Lord, we ask that you may forgive us all our sin. Thank you, Lord, for taking care of us, even for giving us an opportunity that we can learn your word. We ask, Father, that you may open our inner ears, we hear from you, and most of all, we trust and obey you. Thank you for everything that you have done for us. Be with us, dear Father, as we start, and even as we end. For it is in Jesus' name we pray we all say, Amen. 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 Now, children, please stand up and join us with this song. I know you love it, eh? It's joy. J for Jesus, O for others, and Y for yourself. We are going to be led by Teacher Peter. Teacher Peter. So children, let's be upstanding. We sing to that song. One, two, and three. We start. J is for Jesus, and O is for others, and Y, 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 Y is for you, 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 you. J is for Jesus, and O is for others, and Y, 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 Y is for you, 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 you. Very good. You can still continue singing your children. Now we are going to invite our elder to remind us about Golden Luz. Welcome our elder. Hello boys and girls. I'm here again to remind us of the Golden Rules. Rule number one. Wash your hands thoroughly with clean running water and then wipe with a serviette or a towel. Rule number two, do not touch your eyes, your nose, or your mouth with dirty hands. Rule number three, if you have to cough or sneeze, do not do it into the air. Rather, use a clean serviette or a handkerchief, or even do it at the bend of your elbow. <laughs> Rule number four, always wear a face mask when you're going outside. Remember, when you're going outside, wear your mask and wear it well like this. Rule number five, always maintain a safe distance from other people. When you go out into crowded places, like school, like church school, like even in a shopping mall, always try and stay away from the crowds. Rule number six, and this is very, very important. As much as possible, if you don't have to go out, please, please stay home. God bless you. Good morning, boys and girls, and praise God. This is another Sunday that the Lord has blessed us to come and know more about his love and also his word. Before we start the lesson today, let us remind ourselves of what we learned last Sunday. And it was about how Adam and Eve were thrown out of the Garden of Eden. Why? Because of disobeying God. So we learned about the consequences of sin. Today, we are going to learn about their children. And it is from the book of Genesis, chapter 4. You can start from verse, 21, uh, from verse 1 to verse 22. Or else you can read the whole chapter. And here we learn that Adam and Eve were blessed with children. And the first son was called Cain. And the second son was called Abel. 
and they had different profession. That is what the Bible tells us. Cain was a farmer and Abel kept flock. And these two men, they served God. And differently, they decided to give a sacrifice to the living God. And Cain, being a farmer, he got the best. I believe he got the best of his produce for the sacrifice that he was to give to his God. And Abel did the same. And Abel, being a livestock keeper, he took the best lamb for the sacrifice. After the sacrifice, the Lord was pleased with the sacrifice of Abel more than the sacrifice of Cain. And you know what? Cain got very angry because his sacrifice was not favored like his brothers. And you know what? He got so angry to the extent that even he could not hide it. And God in heaven saw his reaction. Do you know what God did? God asked, asked Cain, if you did good or if you did right, could you be angry? But Cain did not answer. You know why? Because he knew deep in his heart the sacrifice that he gave, it was not the best. And if it was the best, it was not from his heart. But Abel gave the best and from his heart. And that is why the sacrifice of Abel pleased God very much more than the sacrifice of Cain. And as God asked Cain why he was angry, Cain felt so bad to the extent even in his mind he planned to kill his brother. And you know what he did? He told his brother, let's go and have a walk in the field. Innocently, Abel followed his brother. And when they were in the field, you know what Cain did? Imagine he killed his own brother because of the anger that he had. And you know, Abel was very innocent. He gave the sacrifice not because of showing off, no. He did it from the depth of his heart. And he knew what he had to give God, it was the best. But now, Cain was jealous. And the jealousy led him to even to kill the brother. And God in heaven saw what happened. And even he went to the, and asked the brother, Cain, where is your brother? And you know what? Cain answered God. He said, I don't know. And you know, he knew. And even asked God, am I my brother's keeper? See how rude that Cain was. And what happened? God told Cain, you know your brother's blood has cried to me as it was flowing to the ground. And this makes you a cursed person. Oh my goodness. Imagine Cain was cursed. Why? Because of his jealousy. Because of not even giving the good thing that he was supposed to give to God. And this shows us whatever you do, and more so when you are doing a bad thing, it has consequences. Now, instead of repenting or even asking for God to forgive him, what did he do? He just killed his brother. After that, he said he doesn't even know where he is. And God was angry with him. That's why he cast him and even cast the ground and told him, even the ground that you work on, it will never produce anything good for you. And Cain felt even more afraid and even asked God, now if that is what you have done or you have said to me, how can I live in this world? Everybody will be looking for me and they will kill me. But God promised Cain that nobody will ever kill him. See how God loves his, his creation. Yes, even after he sinned, God still gave him a chance to live on. But what is the lesson that we are learning today? 
The lesson should, uh, that we are learning today is that we should always, always be repentant of our sin. Because if Cain was humble enough and asked God for forgiveness, God could have forgiven him. But instead, he was arrogant and he did not even feel sorry for what he did. As children, we should always say sorry and feel sorry when we do sin. Because the Lord told Cain that sin is knocking at his door and he must master it. Even us this morning, that is what the Lord is telling us, that sin is around us. But we should always avoid sinning. Because if, if we, we are able to avoid sins, we will live righteously. And when the Lord will come back for us, he'll find righteous children who are waiting for him. And we will live with Jesus because that is the purpose of his dying on the cross for our salvation. Please, children, may we stay in the Lord with righteousness. And this is the end of our story. May God bless you. And our memory verse comes from the book of Hebrew chapter 13, verse 25, which says, Our sacrifices is to keep offering praise to God in the name of Jesus Christ. Our memory verse comes from the book of Hebrew chapter 13, verse 25, which says, Our sacrifice is to keep offering praise to God in the name of Jesus. Barikiweni sana. From our story today, children, we have learned about Cain and Abel, how Abel's God loved his sacrifice. And why? Because he was a good man. Now we are going to sing the song about offering the sacrifice unto the Lord. Again, our elder is going to lead us. Our elder. Okay, children, let's be upstanding and let's give it a good shot all together. We bring a sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. As we offer, as we offer unto you the sacrifices of thanksgiving. As we offer unto you. The sacrifices of praise. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. As we offer, as we offer unto you the sacrifices of thanksgiving. As we offer unto you the sacrifices of praise. As we offer, as we offer unto you the sacrifices of thanksgiving. As we offer unto you the sacrifices of praise. Hello boys and girls, welcome to our Bible craft section. Today, we are taking on the lesson about uh, Cain and Abel. And we are going to make the altar that represents uh, the two sacrifices that Cain and Abel gave to God. And so what do you need in order that you may be able to make the altar? One, you need to have a cotton or a, a piece of cotton then you'll also need to have some glue. You'll need to have a scissor. You'll need to have some colored paper where we'll write Cain and Abel and the altar so that we are able to glue it onto the altar. We'll be able to, we will also need to have the crayons so that you are able to color the altar so that it's quite colorful or somehow colorful. So this is, this, this is what will be our end product or what we'll have made at the end of this session. 
So we'll begin by making or by cutting out some strips of paper from the carton. So this is what you'll do. You'll cut out some strips of paper. For you to be able to get this kind of strips of paper, one, you'll just need to get the carton and remove the upper part right like that so that you remain your carton with the stripes so that you are able to cut through and get this kind of uh, cuttings. So you'll get the, to cut it into these strips of paper and you'll need to get four of them like I have cut out. Then you'll also cut other small ones, four of them. Then once you have done that and you have put them aside and you have them with you, you'll now get your colored paper then you'll get a smaller one on top of a, a slightly bigger one. So once you've done that, you'll get some glue. Then we'll be able to put these two papers together. We are just basically making it uh, more appealing to the eyes. Then onto this paper, you'll write Cain and Abel. And then once you have written that, you'll write here the altar. Then you'll set that one aside for it to be able to dry. You'll pick some uh, crayons and color the strips of paper that you have cut out from the carton. So I've colored this color green. Then I'll be able to color this other one color blue. So you color, 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 color. So I have two more left. I'll color this color red. So I have one last one on the long ones that I'm going to color. And I pick on color yellow, which I color. And once I'm done with the long ones, I'll pick on the shorter ones. Then color this color green. Then color this other one color blue. Uh, two more to go. I'll color this color purple. You could make use of any colors that you have right at your homes. You may make use of the crayons or the colored pencils. I'll pick on color red and color the last one. Then once you have your pieces together, now it's time to join them or to put them together. So you'll pick on the smaller ones and put them right there and arrange on how you are going to glue them together, then you'll take on your glue. So once you have your glue, you'll be able to glue them together. You'll apply glue over there. I know some of you use the glue sticks, which is still okay. You could still make use of the glue stick. So you put these together and together right there. Then once again, you pick on your glue. We will put the shorter ones again uh, right there before we put the longer ones. So right there and right there. Then now you pick on the name that you had written or the paper that you had written, Cain and Abel, the altar, and with the glue, we will be able to glue it up there or down here. And so we've already made our altar and then we'll give it time to dry. So this is the altar that we have made. We'll be able to give it time to dry. Our last product should be something like this. And so we have made two altars, children. We have one that represents Cain and the other one that represents Abel. And this is where the sacrificial lamb was put on Cain's and on, uh, on, on Abel's. And we are told that on Cain, he was able to sacrifice uh, some crops which God was not really pleased with. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing your work. And if you would want us to see the work that you have done, send it to the number that is appearing on the screen. God bless you. I welcome you boys and girls to our Bible quiz section. Last week, we were supposed to read the book of Genesis chapter 3, 
21 to 24 and answer some questions. Here are the answers. Today we have learned the story and we are supposed to read the book of Genesis chapter 4 from verse 3 to 12 and answer the following questions. Thank you very much, children, for your participation. Thank you, parents, for your support. We would love to see your work. Please send to the number appearing on the screen below, and we shall mark it next week. God bless you. We have come to the end of our lesson today, children. And now I'm going to ask Teacher Peter to close for us with a word of prayer. Welcome, Teacher Peter. Children, shall we put our hands together, our heads bow down, our eyes closed as we pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for yet another opportunity that you have granted us. We thank you, dear Lord, for this moment that you have been in your presence learning about your word. We thank you, dear Lord, that we have learned about Cain and Abel. And how we want to thank you, dear Lord, even for reminding us the kind of sacrifice that we need to bring to you. How we pray, dear Lord, that even we as small children will be able to come to you with our sacrifices in terms of time, talents, and the skills that you have given to us. In Jesus' name we pray, believing and trusting, we all say, Amen. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Amen, children. We thank you very much for being with us throughout the lesson. Have a wonderful week. God bless you. And remember, stay safe. Bye-bye.